Sam. I got my coffee going. I need to clean up the kitchen a little bit so I can make taken sewers lunches. We're back at school, so I just wanted to bring you guys along for our school morning routine slash work because I am a full-time working mom. I like to get up way earlier than the boys though to get myself ready, kind of have my quiet time, and then I will wake them up about 7. They get on the bus about 8.20, so that gives them an hour to have some breakfast, fully wake up so they're getting on the bus in a happy mood. We are going to try the bus again for Samir. Yesterday was the first day of school and he was not having it. <laughs> I ended up taking him to school. So we are going to really try to push to put Samir on the bus. Otherwise, the school is going to just pick him up in a van. But we're going to try it one more time. See how it goes. If it is your first time tuning in, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I really hope this video inspires you, motivates you and you stick around and check out some more of my videos. I am a boy mom of three boys, ages nine, six, and five. My baby just started kindergarten, you guys, and I'm not okay. I share lots of content based around motherhood, cleaning, just videos about real life and just inspiring and uplifting other women. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna drink some of this coffee. <laughs> Love my morning hair and my morning voice. And then we're gonna get to business and get some lunch packs. <laughs> get some lunch lunches packed, get their outfits out for the day, and then get myself ready for work as well. Now I don't always have to clean my kitchen up in the mornings. I try to really just wake up with a clean kitchen, but I mean this is reality, this is real life. There's times where the evenings are so busy, I'm so tired just from work and after work and school routines that there's messes in the mornings and that's okay so that's another reason why i wake up a little bit earlier so i have this downtime to just kind of tidy up and pick it up so i don't come home to a dirty kitchen so i had dishes that honestly i'm gonna keep it real those dishes on the counter that were clean they were from the weekend before so i needed to get those put away and i have a load of dishes in my dishwasher that needed to get unloaded so i can put the sink full in i always like to open my blinds that's the first thing i do in the morning just to kind of let some morning brightness come into the house and then i will go ahead and finish getting my dishwasher unloaded and then loaded back up I've ever like cleaned the counters off, put the dishes in the dishwasher, put the other dishes away. I did that all in like 10 minutes. Great time. So it's 6.25 now. I think it was like 6.10 when I started. I'm almost done with my coffee. I got the dishes in the dishwasher. I'm gonna wipe off these counters and then get their lunches packed.
My stove had so many burnt on marks since I hadn't really wiped it down in a couple days. I love this pink stuff. I'm almost out of it, so I'm going to have to go definitely buy some more of it. I love this stuff. It works amazing with getting all of those burnt off marks. I know when I first moved into this house, the stove kind of had um, a lot of like cloudiness. I don't know how to explain it, but nothing else worked besides this pink stuff and it helped like get that off because it had like a, a white residue look on it and no matter what I put on it I couldn't get it off but I highly recommend this stuff I have I think this is a ceramic top stove I'm not really sure I'm not like a stove like genius guru I don't know much about like the differences of these but I think it's a ceramic top and it works fine it might be glass top it doesn't scratch up my stove top that's for sure and I just use that scrub daddy brush and then I always just wipe it and rinse it off with a wet rag Tank got his um, Sonic lunch bag from last year he still wanted to use this and I got Samir his Paw Patrol lunch box because it has red in it and he loves Paw Patrol. So he got this one. Tank's lunchbox will not fit these um, lunch containers that I got from Timu, but it does fit in Samir's perfectly. So Tank, he's able to open all of his stuff easily. Samir, he's like getting there, but I, yesterday I used this to pack everything and I think it's just better for him. So it's already there, all he has to do is eat it. You guys will have to let me know if you guys pack lunches for your kids if they are picky eaters like mine like tank he will probably be good with eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch or maybe like a lunchable with like some cheese and crackers he will not eat anything else i've tried to like switch it up but he is a very 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 picky kid he's one of those if he smells it and he doesn't like the smell of it he won't even try it he is definitely just like his dad. His dad's the same way. It must be in his DNA. His dad doesn't eat a lot of foods either. So it's okay. As long as he eats, that's all that matters to me. So if he just wants to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day for lunch, that's good. Because as long as he has something in his belly and he's not hungry, he does not like crust either. I did the first day. I did make him like an uncrustable sandwich and I noticed he didn't eat it. I think just like the crust and it being sealed threw him off. So he told me he only wanted a circle sandwich. So I knew that meant just a circle sandwich where he could actually see that it was peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, he's really weird like that, you guys. I'm going to just put his chips in the baggie here since he's able to open everything okay all of his stuff is fine and going into the baggies and then Samir's will all fit into his container. Yes, I am totally opening a Lunchable and putting it into Samir's lunchbox for him. I don't have crackers and meat and cheese. When I do my next grocery haul, I'm going to stock up on that stuff. So that way I don't have to do this. I, I'm doing this for him though because it's really hard for him to open these on his own. So I'm glad that I have the lunchbox. So I took all the crackers, all the meat out, and I'm just sticking it in the compartments. That way it's easy for him to just eat it and he doesn't have to deal with needing help to open his lunchable but in the future i will buy crackers and do it myself because i do understand it will be way cheaper but for now i'm just gonna do it this way since this is what i have so in samir's lunch i just have a danimal he has a little butterfinger some chips with his crackers and meat and cheese and i put three cookies in there and then he does have a juice box that I'm gonna set inside his lunch box for Tank's lunch. Open. I have some chips in there for him, an apple juice, a yogurt, his peanut butter and jelly, and four cookies. I 
drops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. I do always put water bottles and send them for the boys for school. Put those in their pocket for them so they have it. Yesterday I noticed they didn't even drink the water, but their book books are all done. I noticed Samir had um, an autism profile sheet that they wanted me to fill out for his teacher, so I'm gonna fill that out and then get their outfits all picked out and probably start waking them up. It's 6.45, so I'll probably start waking them up so they can get dressed, so then I can get myself dressed. Cause I love you, baby. girl good morning she wakes up with me every morning as soon as she hears me up I hear those little bells going hi girl good morning we're gonna give you some more food and change this water yeah let's get you some clean water let's get you some nice fresh water this just looks like urine right now This little tub from Dollar Tree. Some of you recommended doing something like a scoop so like Samir could help feed Lucy. Um, I just thought about it. I might let him just do that. Uh, yesterday I let him, but she has like no food. Look, I'm as bad as the kids. But this way it helps him. Lucy, you gotta wait. Uh, pour her food without using the bag directly. So this is what Tink's gonna wear. This is one of their new shirts. And I just got some black Under Armour shorts to wear with it. Samira's gonna wear this one with some jean shorts. And then Lakin has this New Balance outfit that he's gonna wear with the black shorts. I'm gonna go wake them up, take Lakin and his clothes upstairs so he could get dressed. Waken, waken, hey, wake up, it's time to get ready, come on, come on, wake up, come on, I got your clothes right here, hey, come on, get up, these two, <laughs> oh how freaking cute, they always, make way to my bed it was a, a tiring night so they didn't even go into pajamas last night they literally just got in bed <gasps> look at them hey Samir wake up tank listen to him snore oh I don't want to wake up I'm sleeping so peacefully hey Good morning, Samir, wake up. Hi, wake up. Tank Tank, hey, Tank. Good morning, wake up. Samir, wake up. Hey, come on, let's get up. Come on, wake up, baby. Come on, you get up. You wanna get ready for school? 
Want right, some breakfast? Come on. Tank, tank. Look, Lucy's here to wake him up. Say, like, get up. Samir, come on. Hey. You want to wake him up, Lucy? Come on. Wake him up. Tank, tank. Hey, come on. Good morning. Come on. You hungry? Come on. That boy always has a pile of money near. He's like obsessed with like money right now and change. Hey, Samir, wake up. Come on. Wake up. It's Friday. Let's go. Come on. Hey, Tank, good morning. Mm, boo boo. Look at Lucy. You want some pancakes? Yes, <laughs> you see how she looked her. You want some pancakes? Huh? Still sleep? <laughs> Is it good, Tank? He ended up only wanting the sausage and eggs. What are you doing, Lincoln? Cold. You're cold? Yeah. The air. the air is not on. Ooh, I like your shoes. What's she doing? Is she playing on her thing? Yeah. You want your red? Throw it away. That's a good song. Put it on. 
Do you want to put your water in your pocket? No? You can smile. <laughs> Samir was overstimulated and did not ride the bus again. But he was able to ride the bus home perfectly fine, so I'm thinking he's going to just need to either be dropped off in the morning or picked up in the van just to help him since in the mornings, he is really overstimulated in the mornings and it's a struggle. But the boys are off to school and I headed to drop Samir off and then had to work. I hope you guys enjoyed our morning routine for school. Until the next one, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are.